I previously shot uh, a review of last week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, um, but yeah, I haven't actually edited it, so I think I'm possibly gonna stick with going on from now, hopefully, if I can do it. So this is a long episode title. Uh, the gods of the universe in shock, a loser erased in the tournament of power. Dear God, that was a, a, a long mouthful. So carrying on from last week's episode, we find out that the Tournament of Power is going to be held within the World of Void, where there is nothing there. So it makes a really good way of actually creating a tournament and actually not affecting any sort of place ever. Um, so I'm really actually quite glad that they put this in. We also find out that whoever wins this tournament, the Grand One, will get one wish from the Super Dragon Balls. And I'm going to kind of call this, if Goku, and we all know it's going to be Goku or any of the Z Fighters. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with Goku or Gohan. Um, I'm going to call that now. Um, I reckon what will happen is that they'll wish for all the other universes to come into existence again after they got erased. And we also find out the winning universe after all, what will they win? <gasps> nothing. Nothing at all. So you get erased or you just know the fact that you're going to survive. That's it. That, that's all you're gonna win. You kind of think that they would grant another wish, or they get something like the most tastiest food in the world. No, just nothing. Now that everyone finds out officially that if they get defeated, boom, that's it. All gone. All erased, uh, and that's it. And that will scare them into knowing that they have to fight. A request is given to Goku uh, of the request of Zeno. Future Zeno has never actually seen a fight like that, which I find very confusing because if he's the future, then the past would have seen it, so therefore technically he would have seen it. Oh, I hate when they do this sort of stuff. So now we've got Universe 7 versus another universe. Now they have an hour to get three of the fighters together for a pre-elimination match, um, and it's going to be interesting. Now, I kind of think that Goku just wants to fight all the time, that's it, and it kind of annoys me slightly, but we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. Everyone is kind of really annoyed at Goku for what he what he put in place, the cogs are now turning, and everyone is, uh, Goku decides that he could go to Zeno and say, hey, how about we have the fight still, but forget about the erasing of everyone because, you know, they're friends. That's what he could do. He could ask for a, a, a solid and say, please don't do that. We steps in and says, actually, that's a really bad idea. If you do that, you could be erased on the spot because you don't want them to get angry at what they want. And this is kind of really scary. Can you imagine? Hey, Zeno, uh, we're friends. Can can you uh, not do it? No. <laughs> and you're like, oh, God, I'm gone. You then have one of the key fighters just eliminated from existence straight away. This is when Goku just doesn't think, and this is what annoys me that he comes to the point of, I need to fight. You know, fighting is my life. You know, forget everything else. It's the fact that when he suggested that he didn't think this would happen, and that annoys me because even though Goku is He's smart in some ways where he is not smart in others. You can't think what the be repercussions. You'd ask that, say, hey, that's our tournament, but let's have it a friendly so it can happen. Beerus is angry. He's not just a whole, oh, it's a whole different animation. And he's saying that like, you, you personally have to take responsibility. And yeah, I would put that on and saying, like, you have started this. You have to take responsibility in all those lives, not just the fighters, the entire universe is now on your shoulders. With the three people, Goku is taking up one spot. We now find out that he goes to Vegeta, who says, no, I'm not going to enter this because Bulma's going to give birth and I have to be there. I think Goku doesn't really understand it because maybe someone didn't explain it to him how all this sort of works. Vegeta responds with, well, what about your son? Goku looks at Goten and sees that he's training with Trunks and they're doing really, really well, but he's like, the other one? You know, Goten is still too young and wouldn't win, I don't think. Um, even with his power boost, I just don't think that he would win against the, the, other, uh, the other universe that's coming in. So then Goku goes to Gohan. Goku explains to Gohan and says, hey, this tournament is going to happen. This is what we're going to be doing. And Gohan's like, mm, the fine days are kind of over. And then Goku says, look, if we lose this, everything is going to be erased and that's it. And Gohan goes, oh no, 
and he realizes not the fact that if he doesn't fight, if he if he doesn't fight or doesn't, doesn't participate, then he will lose everything. Not just what he can do in life, but he loses his family, and his family are very dear to him. Goku wants to tell everybody else about this. Of what's the stakes? But Gohan turns around and says, "No, don't, because this could mean something else, and it's best to keep it between those two at the moment." I do actually think that later on, when the tournament starts and they have all the fighters, that's when the whole. Uh, everything will drop but then I kind of think that's if they know about it or they see one universe be destroyed then whoever got a destruction or God at the time is gonna turn around and try and cheat their way out. Videl pops in and goes oh what are you guys talking about and uh, they explain that there's gonna be a tournament and Gohan's like oh, I don't know. Videl then replies well you've got to follow your parents wishes at times if they ask for something it's best to do it sometimes go for it and then Pan flies in and they do the whole Ooh, cute thing and then Gohan really realizes that this has to happen. Boom! All of a sudden Mr. Satan and Boo appear and Goku goes yes and runs straight to Boo and asks him to join. Goku brings Gohan and Mr. Satan as well as Majin Boo to the world of the Kais where they start talking and Beerus looks really kind of like oh wow these people eh and I kind of get you kind of think that you'd show a bit more enthusiasm not just oh I can't really be bothered oh um Beerus asks, why is Mr. Satan there? And he responds with, well, I'm the only one who can tell Boo what to do and he'll listen to me. So if I say, go fight him, he's gonna go fight him. If I have lots of chocolate, and I think that's gonna be the main thing that drives Boo. It's just, here's chocolate, just have all the chocolate. All the chocolate! Right, yo, so everyone is now meeting Universe 9 at Zeno's place, and they all look mysterious and, ooh, scary. And this is when we find new characters. The stadium and spectators areas are created, and we see every single god of destruction from all the universes, and this is when they're going to find out about the tournament. Now, I do like the fact that we see all of them just pop down, and just, they're loving it. They're there going like, yay! Right, okay, so this is when... I think that Goku's friendship kicks in a lot. He's saying, hey Champa, hey, how you doing, hi. Mr. Satan says, look, you've got to stop. You've got to show some respect rather than this outburst. At this point, Whis's dad, who I need to know the name of, does it, turns around and says, if you can be quiet, that would be good. You know, so shh, Goku, shh. The Weiss's dad turns around and starts actually explaining about the tournament. And you see some really good close-ups of all the other like gods of destruction and their angels. And there's some really cool looking ones and some that you kind of think, hmm, they're really kind of interesting. You know, are they gonna be all be good? Are they all gonna be wanting to get like a kind of boost up on, on some of the other universes. Maybe some of them will plot together, some will do stuff, who knows. At this point, Zeno comes in and Goku does the same sort of thing, but he, rather than just saying like, hey, how are you doing? He actually flies up straight to, to Zeno and does the whole, hey, how are you doing? It's been a while. At this point, Beerus just grabs him, pulls him down, not like a push more, whew, you're, just, you're down for the count straight away. This results in everyone thinking that Universe 7 is a mockery, it's a disgrace that they don't follow rules, and this therefore making them seem weak. We also find that if Zeno turns around and finds the match boring, ah, then we're gonna, you know, they could be erased on the spot, and this really scares like Universe 9, it's like, oh god! First of all, we find that Basil is going to be the first person that takes the spot to start fighting. Goku then chooses uh, Majin Buu, but Majin Buu is asleep, and you kind of think that Buu, well, even though he's got the mind of a child, would know some sort of kind of like thing is up and he would fight. So, Mr. Satan brings out super chocolate. The chocolate, that is super. It wakes Majin Buu up and Buu starts the fight. Now, because this is coming to the end of the episode, there's not a lot. Basil pretty much like just beats the crap out of Boo really quickly, but while Boo is bouncing about, at the end we see the camera pan in and we see Majin Buu smile like this is going to excite him to make him fight because he always wanted strong characters to kind of fight against. We've seen it in, in Z. Um, this is going to be interesting because now we come up to the like the next preview episode and it looks kind of interesting. I don't know if this is going to be really quick or if this is going to span out for probably say maybe a couple of episodes at least or let's say maybe nine, I don't know, maybe nine episodes, who knows. Um, it's going to be interesting. I actually do think it's going to be more like 
five, five episodes. Nine is just a good number, just in case. And that's pretty much it. That is it for Dragon Ball Super for this week. Now, the last part of it, where you see next time on Dragon Ball Super, is Basil, and he's kind of like grinning, and it looks like he's transformed. Could there be a transformation? Who knows? Or could this just be a point where he thinks he's won and he's gonna do stuff? Who knows? But either way, it's a good episode. So, okay, what are my thoughts on this episode? Well, my kind of thoughts are uh, kind of, uh, I, the way that this was all handled with Goku turning around saying that, you know, he wanted this, he wanted a, uh, a fight. So maybe Goku could have gone with Whis or uh, Beerus and gone to different universes and said, hey, you know, you can train against these guys, this is what the main important thing is going to be, and that could have been a whole thing. You could have had Goku going into multiple universes and seeing many different things. This to me would have been a slightly better rather than this whole thing of Go Goku asking for the tournament and then people getting erased. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird one for me. Um, I'm not liking Goku being that kind of thick that it's just about fighting. Maybe the English dub has made me think of Goku in a different light, but now watching the actual Japanese version, it's something completely different, and to me, I'm kind of like, hmm, Goku's main thing is fighting, and you kind of think that he would have thought beforehand of what happened to other universes, and yeah, I don't know, I, I just kind of think, I might make a video later on about Goku, because I kind of really want to see him going on about this tournament, and if it's going to be any good, or if he's going to be completely changed, I, I don't know, and this is what is kind of like, making me think more about it. Now, I'm also kind of thinking of what is the end of Z, because we all know that if you go by that one with uh, Oob and Bra being in it, then they won the tournament, and we all know they're gonna win the tournament anyway, so it's very interesting. Um, so I'm kind of like, mm, maybe this has rewritten the end of Z now, and this is now something different, but who knows? So there you go, there are my kind of thoughts and opinions on Dragon Ball Super, uh, and I'm really liking the tournament, Tournament. I, I really want to see what happens, and I just don't want to be any filler episodes. I want this to be a clean, like straight into the, the actual match. So I'm looking forward to it. So, Rangers, what did you think about this? Did you like the episode? Did you not? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the other videos on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.